Modern radiology is very helpful. Uh, without this, inaccuracy of diagnosis, you know, uh, it's very difficult. Suppose, a, however efficient a neurologist may be or a neurophysician, unless you have a proper diagnosis, the treatment is not going to be perfect. Uh, that way, there are a lot of modalities like MRI, which you can precision make diagnosis very important only through my MRI only. Increase in lifestyle diseases create a chronic condition in society which leads to increased MR procedures and longer waiting times. There always is ever increasing pressure on the radiology department for the same. To meet the increased demand for productivity, a technological breakthrough in accelerating the whole process of diagnosis is still required. When we look at technology now, it's not just in terms of technology as equipment. Uh, if you ask me, we would look at more in terms of uh, AI coming into play. Because today, if you look at the quality of technicians and doctors, they vary a lot from the ones I would have seen back about 15 years back. I would rather have technology help me pre be more predictive and help me in terms of informing us so that it helps in terms of teleradiology, also a provisional report. Without radiology, high-end equipment, there's no way that we would diagnose patients for certain illnesses at all. Suppose we have quite a good number of MRs. Suppose if I have three MRs in one place, let us say two MRs, I can do it compromised with one. The reason is the time taken for any modality is reduced to a great extent. That is one aspect of it. That is very useful. One is the patient comfort. You need not be there uh, 10 minutes more in a uh, gantry where some of them they feel comfortable without, uh, you know, going into the uh, less number of time is more comfortable and is expected for the what they do. When acquiring MR images, raw data is stored in what is called the case space. A fully sampled case space leads to the highest image quality, but also results in long scan times. By sampling less data, the acquisition can be made faster, but results in a reduced signal-to-noise ratio. Philips Compressed Sense combines DS Sense, our industry-leading parallel imaging method, with compressed sensing. Here, sparsity is important because in a sparse environment, it becomes possible to only capture the MR signals that matter most and ignore the rest. Compressed Sense reconstruction uses iterative, knowledge-based algorithms to fill in the empty lines in case space. As the information in this domain is sparse, the image information is captured much more efficiently, hence more time can be saved. When applying a Fourier transformation to a balanced, undersampled data set, however, the resulting image is noisy. By decomposition the image and adding wavelet filtering, the noise is removed from the image, and the image quality is improved. The search for the optimal image is not a single-step approach. Further iterative reconstruction loops are required to get to the optimal image quality. Compressed sense reconstruction removes the inherent artifacts to produce excellent diagnostic images. The result is a robust acceleration technique that delivers high quality images for 2D and 3D scans for all anatomies and for all anatomical contrasts.